guys I'm so frustrated right now like nothing is going the way I have planned like hi guys welcome back to another video so today what I have going on is I'm creating this new garden space guys now there was a pre-existing garden there like a small bed um, but now I am extending it all the way to the back of the house and I'm also going to try to create um, another garden bed mirroring that garden bed so uh, let me turn the camera around and show you guys what I have going on um, my husband already pre-shaped the bed for me yesterday so today i'm going to till the bed run some drip and put on some mulch and get it prepared for planting i think that's all i'm going to get done today in this video as you guys know i have two newborns and i am very busy <laughs> so my husband is in the house currently with them right now so we're going to take turns so he can get some stuff done as well so let's see how far i get today so let me turn the camera around and show you guys what i have going on if you are new here go ahead and subscribe so you never miss an upload all right, so this is the front garden bed that was overgrowing and we weeded out. Now you can tell, you can see that it, this, it still um, has weeds in there, guys, because I did not get mulch in time, but now I do have mulch, guys. I finally have mulch, so I'm going to have to re-weed this bed again and put down some mulch. But this is the front of the bed that has the hibiscuses in the bed. The main bed is face, this is um, south facing. And then if you come around to my left, which would probably be your right, this is where the bed, the new bed is going to be all right so this runs down all the way to the edge of the house right and I already had two little limes here I have two little limes here and I have some daisies which I'll be digging up and rehoming and then if you come down here David Austin Rose something is wrong with that rose um, this is my water faucet right here where I get my water from then I have uh, a quick fire and a nine bark so these super tunias came back from last season. I have yet to plant any annuals in the ground. So the existing bed stopped right here, okay? Now, my husband dug it all the way down to the edge of the house and we extended the bed. So what I'm going to do is till this area up so it can be fluffy and softer and work in some gypsum and some um, fertilizer to get this bed ready for planting and then I am going to edge this bed cleaner and sharper you know edge it so it's neater then I'm going to get the lawn mow and I'm going to cut this grass as low as possible all right and then let me back up out of here right here I'm standing I'm currently standing on the driveway so this is the driveway and then this is where this part of the yard starts so what I have planned is to put up a fence, like a picket fence, to separate the driveway from the garden I'm trying to create on this side, which, let me show you. Yeah, my coolers are out. <laughs> um, these picket fence, I'm gonna paint them black to match the, the railing on the front of the house and my screen door. I bought these off of um, Facebook Marketplace for $20 for, I think, seven large pieces. So that's what I have planned, to run a fence to run a fence along this side right here where you see the tiller which i rented from home depot this morning this is where i'm going and you see the cracked up driveway is i mean the walkway as well that's getting replaced i'm going to put a fence right here i'm going to put a fence right here and it's going to run towards the house and there's going to be an opening like right in the middle right here the entrance and then a walkway i don't know if i want to do paver stones or brick to match the side of the house or whatever it is to lead up to my water fountain that I have right here and it goes all the way back to my vegetable garden and a whole bunch of stuff in the back that I'm embarrassed to show right now but slowly but surely we're gonna get this place together so first things first is to till this area all this is trash um, that I'm bagging up to clean up this area let me see if I can give you guys a better view All right, so this is me standing at the back, at the back of um, this, at the end of the house, the corner of the house at the back. Looking straight forward, this is my fountain I bought three years, I'm saying three years ago, last summer for $300 in Virginia. If you guys remember, I need to get that up and running. So I want to run a fence on the driveway right here where you see the pickup truck. I want to run a fence on that side and in the front to create like an enclosed garden um, to separate it from the driveway. 
and then uh, Arbor in the front um, packed this bed with perennials and um, since it's the first season with some annuals and on this side by the driveway I was thinking of doing another hedge of hydrangeas because you guys know I love hydrangeas so I'm thinking about doing another hedge of hydrangeas so I'm going to cut this grass really really low and till this side up as well um, I'm not sure when my husband is going to put the fence in for me so I'm just going to focus mainly on this side of the house I'm so frustrated right now like nothing is going the way I have planned like nothing is going the way it's not working out it's the vision that I'm trying to bring forth is just not coming it's just it's just not working out and I'm beyond like beyond frustrated frustrated you hear me like I should have stuck to my first instinct I was gonna hire um, a couple men to come in and do this for me um, even though my husband helps me with everything his back he's feeling some back pain right now and I just don't want to disturb that but <sighs> let me show you what's going on I tilled it and I still have big pieces because I have a uh, hard really bad clay and I think the tiller ain't worth a shit to be honest I'm so frustrated like I am beyond <sighs> so anyways the tiller I'm taking it back because it's not doing the best job I should have gotten like one of those bigger ones but I'm not used to power tools like that so I just picked one that I think I could manage that still have a good horsepower anyways so this is what I have so far I try to till it and then I'm trying to edge it but it's not coming out the way I had planned the bed look like it's a hot mess and I'm just I'm just gonna take a break and I'll be back I don't even know if I'm gonna put it back on camera or just try to complete it you know by myself off camera frustrated as heck so I'm back I've I've calmed down a little bit I've gathered my thoughts and in that time I um, uh, I'm trying to clean up the edge. I try to clean up the edge a little bit Let it look a little bit better than what it did before and um, I'm just gonna work with I mean I have clay soil. That's what it is I just got to work with it um, at compost like I normally do in the plantain holes with my gypsum and stuff because when I was tilling I forgot to till in the gypsum and um, compost and fertilizer so you know that's that so this is what I have so far The bed is not straight i can see like all these crooks and stuff like i try to give it a little bit of curve but yeah we're just gonna work with it uh, i ran drip all i did was tap into my existing line so this is the two-way splitter which means i can still use a hose on the left hand side which will probably be your right and then i have my timer on the right which is probably your left and then it comes down and the black tubing right here runs all the way down here it had to stop right there and I cut it and put an um, extension piece and ran it all the way down. All the way down. And then it curved around and then I hooked on the drip tube. Now this piece, the drip tube, that has 18 inches. It's spaced out 18 inches, like every 18 inches. And then I just ran it up, loop it back and come down here. So next thing I'm gonna do is mulch this area. Uh, real thick like a good four inches so I can cover everything else so all the green you're seeing all the weeds they're dead and once I put the mulch on real real thick they won't have a chance of surviving now those are daylilies um, some of them got damaged in the process but they'll bounce back so I'm just gonna leave those alone I forgot that I had a hibiscus right here it got damaged as well but some of the um, roots and new growth are coming in like they're all the way down so I have to be careful when I mulch. Now this bed, it doesn't look the best right now, but watch what the mulch is going to do. Everything looks clean. Um, I need to cut the grass properly and edge it. As you can tell, the edges are crooked as heck, but it's not perfect. I'm getting there, trial and error. You know, gardening is all about experimenting, getting things wrong and doing it all over again. So, right here this is black double shredded mulch right here i had to do this so my hibiscus can come up 
I have a hibiscus here that I almost forgot. My husband stepped on it quite a few times, so he put the little stones around it to keep the mulch off the base until they emerge all the way up from the soil. So this is this is it. Honestly, this is it. Um, I'm going to go back to the, draw, the drawing board and really plan this area out and try again. But I'm going to put this video up anyway. This is a learning process. Nothing, nothing in life is perfect. And if you get it right on the first time, kudos to you. But sometimes it takes several trial and errors to get it correct. So this is what I have so far. And the only thing left to do is really plant. So when I plant, I'm just going to push the mulch back, dig my hole, plant my plant, and put the mulch back. That's it. That's it for this area right now. I did not get to um, do this area that I said I was going to uh, till this area. I got so frustrated with the tiller that I gave up and I brought the tiller back. So I'm going to rethink this whole area and start all over and not stress myself out so that's it for now i'll keep you guys updated so bye guys